global hunger Shabbat. I don't know if any of you are familiar with our getting lots of notes, that's good. <laughs> um, so we've developed one-off curriculum on particular global justice issues. Um, we have this um, database called On One Foot, which is a ser searchable text um, database of Jewish social justice texts, and you can um, build source sheets and all kinds of things like that. Um, we're doing this project called Where Do You Give, which is um, meant to like help communities examine tzedakah and their tzedakah practices, their values around um, tzedakah, and there's going to be a huge national design competition um, thinking about reconceptualizing the Sadaka box in a way that um, that thinks not only about giving to your own community but to the global community and that's going to be um, using all kinds of mixed media there's a there's an in the box you can um, join or you can compete in the context in the in the box category or an out of the box category um, so we're going to see what sort of happens with that and we're going to have a whole student track so we're doing different things, um, but we're very much still in an exploratory phase with that. And I'd love your thoughts on it <laughs> at some other point. <laughs> so um, I would say our model is, I'm about 13 years old and has gone through kind of different iterations. When it started, it was nine people in a house in Brooklyn. And you have like New York City at your you know, doorstep and you can invite in all kinds of incredible activists every single time you had a program, and you would not run out of people in New York. So, and I think at the end of that first year, people said, wow, that was really incredible, but we couldn't really get a theme, you know, with, across the year. And then the program kind of swung the other direction and said, like, oh, we should have a very, you know, specific program that is more structured. And then everyone at the end of the year said, well, that was really great, but there was no room for anything that we wanted to know that was not kind of in the curriculum set at the beginning. And I think a lot of programs kind of go through that kind of pendulum swing. Um, and where we're at now, now that we're in four cities also, is that we do have a curriculum that goes across the arc of the year-long program. And um, the idea is that it should mean something similar to finish on in each city, but we don't have identical experiences. Like each city is different. They have different local resources. Um, the jobs that people are doing may be slightly different, and so there are some modules that are done everywhere, and there are many where we say either to the person who's coming in to speak or to the program director, these are the goals and outcomes we're hoping for, but any way you want to get there is okay. Here's a sample of how we might do it so that you have an idea of what we have in mind, but like really you're the expert, that's why we invited you in. And so, you know, just get these outcomes, please. <laughs> um, but I would say, you know, people work on a whole bunch of different issues from education reform to Medicare and entitlements to hunger, homelessness. And so we've really thought a lot about as the goal in the year for people to become experts on every single issue related to poverty. And is that possible, which we have discovered it's not, and also Judaism, you know, <laughs> related to both what Judaism has to say about be, being engaged in social justice. And there are many when people come just like to many of your institutions, people come to Abu with a whole range of Jewish experiences. Some of them, this is like the most intense Jewish community they've ever lived in, and others like have lived all their lives in intensive Jewish communities. Um, and we're not a Hebrew school, so it's sort of hard to plan programs all year that are going to speak to all different levels. And I think like in that particular context, being a year long is kind of with people who live together, it's like you start to know, think about, even in this group, I'm sure, like could tell like when someone raises their hand to say something like you kind of have an idea maybe what they're going to say like people in a group sort of pick their different roles and particularly when you live together for a year so that those are some of the challenges what we have decided is that what our job really is in terms of education is to help people develop an analysis so we talk about power race and class um, and <clears throat> people do a combination of there's a combination of bringing in speakers and doing some reading, although the reading thing is complicated. <laughs> People are working hard, they're living together. Like, there's a lot of time demands. And so, in many ways, there are tons of things we'd like them to read, and it's hard to get people to carve out the time sometimes. 